Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to more of Islands of Zelda. Okay, uh, got the whole Triforce now. Um, before moving on, uh, there's one more bonus dungeon that uh, we can go into. And good thing for convenient shortcuts, because it's just a screen up from the start. of time music with its uh, ice cave music now the main danger with this place is actually uh, the icy water because uh, that's actually a floor hazard in this place, and I think it does four hearts of damage. I think regardless of armor, uh, but this is why I wait till I get the boots. Because it's a floor hazard, um, at least in this quest, pretty much boots, boots make it up all floor hazards. So, boots are a nice little safety to really take out a lot of the difficulty here. just for extra money. At least that Death Doctor looks like it's stuck up there. Send its own magic blast back. And if you don't have slash, you can do this with your hammer. It does the same thing. Best to come here um, after you get boots. Yeah, we're 
we're not gonna go left yet. And that's later on as we get further in the exploration. Capping out my wallet already. <clears throat> now, luckily, I'm fairly close to a spot where I can actually spend money. Moblins are like, different colors. Again, normally this icy water would be a hazard to worry about, but again, don't have to worry about it. Since I have a boots. Okay, this room is kind of a pretty bad design because it's very hard to dive that goma. I really don't have enough space to work with. Space you kind of need to dodge it, and you don't have. Try to get rid of the garbage first. Okay, so I got rid of the Lionels. I just focus on the Goma. Figure how to get around this thing. It's almost like an exercise in learning how to dodge in between the fireballs rather than just doing zigzagging. I mean, I'm more used to doing zigzagging, but not used to having to dodge in between, because that's not a big space to work with. Trying to deal with the the back ropes and the blue whip was just getting um, free hits on you. Uh, since you can actually exit the room, you, know, you don't have to worry about the bats swarming up the place. I think the bat ropes are going to take priority, so you can't despawn them. Get rid of those blue wizard ropes first. Two o'clock, oh, that's very handy to have. It'll make this room a little easier. Yeah, 
Actually, um, this is a nice little thing to do first. Uh, this is actually a shortcut. I'll easily get back to the later stages of this place. your sword because uh, it was a blue bubble just a room or two back. Uh, but actually here you can despawn the red bubbles. Alright, this room I've got a patch of two in a bat robes. Now at least the good thing about this is you have the bottom of the room for shelter. Oh, no, I don't think the bats can reach you down here. So you can just try to take your time and try to snipe away at the patch run. Because again, if you're really trying to focus on the bat road, you're going to get swarmed by the patch run here. At least I got rid of the two rings already. It's easy to lose track of the patch right now. See how it's trying to sneak it. Ooh, block. That's always nice. Get as much damage as I can on you. The clock is always welcome for that. Forget the bat robe, go after the bigger threat first. Well, at least I get my health back. Okay, well, there's your magic wand. And normally this room would be kind of a pain because of the, the water hazards here. You have to push this block very carefully. Because if you touch this water again, it's four hearts of damage. Uh, but because I have boots, uh, this room is kind of trivial now. Uh, since there are no hazards to worry about. Finally, can put that magic book to use. Now, this purple crystal is a little suspicious. And you kind of see something down here. And if you use your wand, you get a clue about this um, somewhere else in this dungeon. Another piece of heart. Are going on the sides. Um, well, I'm gonna have to go on both sides anyway.
an odd design. Kind of a twisted path to go through. Okay, this room is going to be really interesting to go through. Uh, you got four mirror robes. There's a couple back robes in this place as well. Yeah, um, this room might take a while to get through. Now, I actually... The, the, they can't actually walk over to this right side. Um, the wand blast can't get over here unless it's a deflected shot. So you're relatively safe in this corner. I mean, I don't think it's absolutely safe, but uh, it's better than being in the middle of the room here and getting swarmed. Yeah, so I don't know any easy strategy for this. Yeah, I actually got rid of one of the back rope. That's actually really good. That's probably the first thing you can do. And again, because the one blast can't get over here unless it reflects off of the crystal. Give her that other back over there. Keep it shape. Start focusing on the. There, there we go. Well, the clock isn't gonna help me any. Well, at least you don't get. Well, you're not perma stuck anyway. The door is still open up there. So, what you can do here is uh, just kind of let them fire their shots into the crystal. Because it deflects in three directions. And because I have the mirror shield, I can add on extra reflected shots. And that's actually good that the reflected shots can reach me here. And that means I can... just stay in this corner and be safe. Really don't recommend trying to go up against four of these guys. Because as you're focusing on one, you're likely going to get ganged up on from uh, at least one or two other directions. So I think this is just going to be a little bit of patience. Step out a little bit. Okay, now I got a couple of them out, so I should make this a little easier to navigate. The point of this room is just to get this one heart piece. All that effort.
least this is an easy direction to go around. Okay, uh, down here, we have two Superman handlers. Got rid of one of them already. And more money. Whistle just to get through this, so you can't do this early and hope to get down to this place. Not really any secret, it's just tanking out. So, you can do this to, you know, kind of reflect it off the wall, or off the ice here. And pick up a super bomb. And I'm trying to figure out there's, there's not too much more to explore now. Um... Put another part for the other exploration. It's likely to be like a five minute video. I don't think there's that much more to explore before going on. Walk out of this place manually. Okay, uh, again, there's a few more things I can get now. I got the the wand. Um. No two things I can get right away. Actually, for this one, it may be easier just to use the... Just the stair warps. This isn't so random, all these little kind of underground caves and stuff. So if you use your lens around the place, you don't see to find anything. Uh, but this screen uh, has a little secret on it. And this is not for much later. Uh, you're going to be given some hints about this, uh, but you can't do anything for a long time for that. But that's just to open it up. Because that, you know, it stays there. Use it my super bomb for that purpose.
I'm trying to find the... How do I get to... Spots I want to go to? I'm almost capped on my 999 wallet. My giant wallet's almost filled up. Like 939 already. And all these fives dropping. If I go down, that's just gonna lead me towards uh, level seven. I actually have to go up. Oh, actually, I could have just used the. Uh, the warp. I, I forgot there was a point that led here. I forgot all about this one. Because this is one of the four points. No, oh, that would have saved me a little bit of time there. Completely forgot that was there. I mean, it's not that big a detour. I mean, it's not that, you know, big or something. Money one at it. Okay, so this. Yeah, you see the. It's kind of hard to see if you, unless you use your lens for a while, but it's a magic wand plus the book. This thing. Now use your hammer. You break that little button or switch, or whatever that is. And this is a nice little reward to get. You pick up double magic. spot we can uh, go into. I think you do get clues about this later on, but if you use your lens, it kind of gives you the clues you need. And the lens of truth it reveals pretty much everything here. And more Chrono Trigger music. I think there's more money behind this. I'm yeah, pretty much capped out now. It's got an interesting name. optional place. Well, we do pick up some goodies in here. Oh, 
Okay, here, I mean, we're taking literal Chrono Trigger references out. clue on what item you're going to be getting here. long enough you can kind of see what you need. I mean, you need the, both the wand and the magic book. Okay, so we get Din's Fire, which is a nice little spell. I'm not sure if you need it for what's coming up next, but it's going to uh, make traveling a little easier. Actually helps open up some shortcuts. This should be a good uh, place to stop. I'm actually right next to where I need to go. Alright, so next part we'll... Uh, now we got the whole Triforce to uh, get some new areas. Alright, see you guys later.